engineer, Ryan Sesma. Present. Jerry Jones. Marilyn Montemayor. Present. Uh, I'm assuming Dave Hoffman and John Matiska are excused. Dave Hoffman might be online. Is there anybody online? No. All right. For those in attendance, please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. All right. 2.1, approval of the plan commission minutes from May 25th, 2021. Is there a motion? There's been, there's been a motion second. Any discussion on the minutes? Seeing none, all those in favor, please state aye. aye. Anyone opposed, chair votes aye. The minutes are approved. All right, 3.1 for conditional use permits with the exception to the John Michael Fuller Art Preserve to construct a new storage building at 3636 Lower Falls Road. Steve? All right, um, thanks, Mayor. Uh, a couple of representatives from Posh's Construction and I believe from the Kohler Art Center as well. Um, what we're taking a look at today is the Kohler Art Center is looking to construct an accessory storage building to serve as an essential part of the maintenance and groundskeeping needed at the art preserve. The proposed structure is 3,600 square feet, 60 by 60. The building side was, was determined based on the equipment that would be housed on the site to perform maintenance and upkeep of the facility and property. The location was selected so as not to impede on the architectural design of the main building. So the structure itself is um, approximately about 700 feet to the north of the um, Indiana or PP uh, Lower Falls Road. Um, Let's see, the applicant is requesting uh, a couple of uh, exceptions, and one is just to have a 20-foot uh, 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 ridge and to uh, have a variance from the locational landscaping requirements. So the structure itself was uh, approved by the Architecture Review Board last night, fairly um, a basic pre-engineered metal building and staff was recommending approval of the conditional use permit subject to the conditions you have before you. Any questions from commissioners at all? Is there any representative here from the Art Preserve that would like to speak? Oh, okay, cool. There was a neighbor here as well. I don't know if she had anything. Would you mind um, coming up to the uh, public lectern, please? Because otherwise people can't hear you if they're on the phone or TV. Thank you. So I'm Abby Vizalka. I represent Glacial Lakes Conservancy, which is a neighbor to the John Michael Kohler Art Center. Um, and we don't have any issues with them building um, a shed on that near our property. So just wanted to come and check all this out. All right, no worries, thank you. Any, anyone else cheer for that? No. Any motions? I make a motion that we approve subject to staff recommendations. Second. There's been a motion second. Any further discussion? Seeing none, all those in favor, please state aye. Aye. Anyone opposed? Chair votes aye. That's approved. All right, 3.2 application for conditional use with the exceptions to <coughs> Organo Inc. to construct a new warehouse facility on parcel number 59, 28, 14, 79, 085, located at the Briars Parkway in the Sheboygan Business Park. Steve? All right, thanks, Mayor. Tom Testweed is here from Torganal, as well as Chris Hergesog, and I am forgot your name, sir, from ACA. So what we're taking a look at is um, Torganal's been here a couple of times with a couple of their different structures at uh, 4617 Taylor Drive. Did a little office and deck addition recently. And then they also had purchased 4350 Tower Drive, um, which was a warehouse facility. Um, uh, they had approached the city to work with us on uh, the Sheboygan Business Park on an eight acre parcel of land that they uh, wanted to purchase, which they did to construct a 67,000 
500 square foot warehouse and that's what we're taking a look at today uh, the building was submitted to the city of sheboygan architecture review board last night and was uh, approved um, the expansion is necessary to increase the material storage capacity which in turn will bolster their, the overall business operations and better respond to domestic and international client demand demand is steadily increasing and the new warehouse is required to accommodate the inv inventory necessary to meet this demand and it's their intent to commence construction as soon as feasible and hopefully by august 20 uh august of this summer um Torque and all manufacturers and markets decorative materials that contribute to the design and performance qualities of high performance floor coating systems. Torque and all is a locally owned and operated company with uh, 300 employees. So some of the site improvements include the 67,000 square foot warehouse, nine parking spaces are proposed. The applicant is proposing two driveway connections to Barron's Parkway, one that's more for trucking and the other that's a little bit more for employee parking. Applicant is proposing a new driveway that will connect the new warehouse facility property to the Torganol property to the east at 4350 um, Tower Drive. And it's likely in the near future there may be an addition to this facility as well. A um, couple uh, just general comments. Uh, the applicant is proposing to construct a driveway that will connect the new warehouse to their facility to the east. And this proposed driveway crosses a 50-foot stormwater easement that accepts water from many of the properties upstream and takes that stormwater and uh, deposits it into the retention pond located at the southwest intersection of Barron's Parkway and Tower Drive. Um, the applicant will need to create an access easement between the two properties, allowing each property to utilize and share this proposed drive. And applicant is requesting a variance to the paving setback and the axe easement helps justify that request. The applicant would also be working with the city engineering department on the required easement and the specifications that the driveway will be required to meet in order to ensure that the stormwater easement continues to appropriately function. City staff has no issues with that connection, with the driveway connection as long as the required easement documentation is completed and as long as the driveway is constructed properly and does not impact the stormwater facility. So they'd be working with the attorney's office and the engineering department, the attorney's office on the easement and the engineering department with the specs required to make the uh, uh, driveway cross the actual stormwater easement. Um, and that stormwater easement will require city council approval. The business park covenants do not permit loading on the front side of the building, but the applicant is showing a loading dock on that northwest side and is planning to construct a berm in that area to minimize the view of the loading dock. Um, there's some conceptual signage that's proposed, but they would come back with regards to their formal sign package. Plan Commission may want to have the applicant address um, the exact use of the building, the timing of the con construction, timing of any future construction. And there were a couple of variances. One was to have the zero foot paving setback. And again, that's to allow for the uh, driveway to connect the two properties. And with that easement, uh, we didn't see an issue with that and requesting a variance from some of the locational landscaping requirements. So I can answer any questions. The applicants are here and staff is recommending approval of the project as proposed. Anyone here on the side of wishing to speak? Steve did a great job explaining the yeah, come to the podium. Sorry, Tom. Steve did a great job explaining the project, and you know, we're just real excited to be back here in, in, in front of the group. And, and yesterday, um, you know, we, we love doing business in Sheboygan, and our, our employee group, we love the Sheboygan community. So hopefully this will, you know, fit in nicely in the business park. Um, we did look at existing space and it's, it's pretty tight out there. There's not much in terms of leasing space. Uh, so we uh, in talk with our customers. Uh, the feeling is, is it's pretty strong, pretty bullish about the future. So, you know, we're trying to get ahead of things so we can build up our inventories and service our, our customers. So, any questions on the project? Any uh, gentlemen from AC are here as well. Okay. Jerry, yeah, I think yesterday at Architecture Review, you, you talked about the timeline for construction. You were trying to get in by January. If you can just fill everyone else in on that, that would be great. Our business is somewhat seasonal, and we, we have heavy uh, demand from the months of April uh, through October. And, and really, uh, November, December, January, February, March, we build up inventory. Uh, so that's where this year we, we built up the inventory and, 
it wasn't it wasn't quite enough. Um, so we produce real heavy year round, but we want to build it up for that spring pop. Uh, some of our largest customers, our large customers, are Sherwin Williams, Bear, Rust Oleum, and the, you know they're they're selling product through uh, big home building centers and, and and offer promos in the spring. So they want to get the product into their distribution centers. Um, but that that's our concern is is uh, come about the end of January, we're going to run out of space right now. Any additional comments or Marilyn? That sounds wonderful. Keep going. Keep going. <laughs> I move to approve. Thank you. Thank you. There's been a motion to approve. Is there a second? Second. And a second. Any further discussion or comments? Seeing none, all those in favor of approval, please state aye. 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 Anyone opposed? Chair votes aye. It's approved. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. All right. Mm -hmm. Moving right along. 3.3 RO number 2221-22 in general ordinance. Number 4-21-22 by Elder Persons Decker, amending the City of Sheboygan official zoning map of the Sheboygan, Sheboygan zoning ordinance to change the use district classification of vacant land on North 15th Street, part of the parcel number 5928-1550-000 from Class Urban Residential UR12 to Class Urban Commercial UC. Uh, Steve? All right, thanks, Mayor. Um, Paul Weaver is here. And uh, previously, he had been here to change the property from urban commercial to urban residential for the Waters Edge condominium project. Um, as the applicant had done some additional uh, construction with Waters Edge, um, the, they didn't believe that the market um, existed to continue in the opinion of the applicant to continue with that development. So now what they are looking at is to rezone the remainder of the portion of the property from the urban residential to the urban commercial. And the purpose is, is that they would like to potentially develop a boutique hotel, which would consist of a 25 hotel room and small event space. And it's anticipated the whole hotel development would pr produce an investment value of approximately three million dollars um, the city of ha Sheboygan comprehensive plan identifies several key initiatives including promoting infill development and re redevelopment to grow efficiently and strengthen existing businesses and neighborhoods and enhancing the lakefront and riverfront to attract new development and appeal to residents and facilitate a healthy community um, the proposed hotel development will ac accomplish uh, these key initiatives, allowing the redevelopment of vacant underutilized site into a boutique hotel, which will be complementary to the adjoining riverfront, provide infill development, and be complementary to the adjoining uses. Some of the adjoining uses would be the obviously the Water's Edge condominium project, the Dulmas uh, 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 decor building, and the Glass and Cellcom building. So there is quite a bit of urban commercial in that area, and the design of the proposed hotel is fitting with that development as well as the condominium project. Uh, the same architect is involved in the hotel project that was on the condominium. So it, they're tying that in nicely uh, together. And so what needs to happen is the property needs to be rezoned back to urban commercial in order to allow the proposed hotel development to be brought to the plan commission uh, for review and consideration. And I would be expecting that we would be seeing that shortly after the rezone hearing went to council. So staff was recommending approval of the change in land use designation from the urban residential to the urban commercial and the applicants here. General, and any additional comments or thoughts that you'd like to add on this topic? Or? Did a good job, so thank you. Commissioners, any comments or discussion or motions? I'll make a motion to approve. Second. There's been a motion and second. Any further discussion? Seeing none, all those in favor of approval, please state aye. 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 Anyone opposed? Chair votes aye. That's approved. All right. I just want to know if Dave is giving a half off. Yeah. Two for one. At this side. At this side. <laughs> 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 <Yeah. laughs> All right. Yeah. Uh, next meeting is June 29th. We've exhausted the agenda. Is there a motion to adjourn? Move to adjourn. Motion to adjourn. Second. 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 Motion to adjourn.
motion by Jerry, second by Trey. All those in favor of adjourning, please state aye. Aye. Anyone opposed? Chair votes aye. We're adjourned at 4.15. Thanks, Thanks everybody. everybody.